On today's Saturday news, being the elite is dead. We've got a backstage update on Roman Reigns' next match. We've got another backstage update on our thing CM Punk returning at Survivor Series and other rumor stuff. And there's been a big change to a match at Survivor Series. Are you ready? Are you ready for the news time? My name is Bill Chambers and I'm joined by Gareth Morgan to talk all things wrestling news. But what have we got up first? First up, we've got to talk about those elite boys because the Young Bucks have apparently decided that being the elite is is no more. I know, big shock of this because I believe uh, in the Wrestling Observer newsletter, the latest edition of it, it was kind of mentioned within there that, that as part of this like heel repackaging that they've got going on. I'll add a bit more about that later on, but a part of this was BTE is going to go on hiatus, but then Meltzer provided a further update on his like daily update thing that he does on F4W online and he said that no this is this isn't a hiatus this is done like for there are no plans at this current moment in time for any more being the elite it's just done finished so big old shock at that one i guess because it's, it's been running since what was it may 2016 i believe it, it started so years and years ago it's been a big old important part of not just wrestling in general but AEW's story because they, they announced AEW was going to be a thing on BTE so it's, it's a big big part of the company and this was kind of hinted at well not really hinted at it was mentioned but people just thought it was like a work of part of the storyline uh, Brandon Cutler said it on X or Twitter whatever you want to call it he said sources close to Matt and Nick are telling me that they have officially finished up with being the elite so people were just like oh it could just be anything but no it looks like it's it is legit but speaking of this like repackage new direction for the Young Bucks. Apparently, uh, there's a lot of <laughs> things they're throwing into the mix here. They're gonna, they have trademarked the likes of KTB, killing the business, and a uh, super dick party. Yeah, there you go. Don't know if I can say super dick party, but I've, I've said it. You just did. <laughs> this is for merch purposes. Uh, I think the, the killing the business one is only currently for use in outside AW projects, but you never know. They'll probably just find a way to tie that into AW stuff as well. So that's one part of this, this re- package and then on top of that apparently a heel faction has been discussed and that's going to be the young bucks and cutler brandon cutler but also another name was mentioned possibly it's, it's not a certainty at this point but another name was mentioned as being part of the team that name was cult cabana of all people so that <laughs> they just know what they're doing don't they um so yeah no real news on when that will uh, precisely when that will be unleashed on aw programming that, that that heel group but one thing seems clear being the elite is no more. Yes, it's definitely not the first time that the Young Bucks have played into like doubts or like the outside opinion of the Young Bucks um, within their characters. Obviously, like they used to do the whole like Spot Monkey T-shirts and things like that, and they've like they've played into this. Like the whole point of being the Elite was kind of played into this uh, mm-hmm. originally, and like they built their Ring of Honor and New Japan characters in the Bullet Club, especially kind of around saying a massive well putting up a massive middle finger to everybody that hates them basically um, so it wouldn't be the first time that they've done this but the cult cabana thing is so spiteful it's incredible <laughs> i am a big fan <laughs> obviously the young bucks aren't the biggest cm punk fans we definitely know no. that <laughs> i don't know if you know that guys <laughs> but they don't really like him very much uh, and to specifically go and sort of rebrand themselves slightly in order to come back into a heel stable with cock cabana is genuinely hilarious <laughs> Yeah, it's outrageous, <laughs> and it's, it's, it's the chaos and just spitefulness that I am here for. I want it. Yeah. I need more of it. Pure spite, going on hiatus, yeah. doing away with being the elite, all out of spite. I love it. Spite runs everything. Uh, more spite in wrestling. CM Punk, come back, God damn it. Um, but we've got moving over to WWE. We've got an update on um, Roman Reigns and when's he next going to bloody wrestle again? It's been bloody ages. Uh, so with him not being at uh, Survivor Series, obviously, it is expected that his next match is going to be at the Royal Rumble. Um, but it won't be against LA Knight, which is what some people were speculating. Now, obviously, um, he is still kind of embroiled in the Bloodline kind of storyline. He's obviously he's wrestled uh, Jimmy Uso. He's beaten him. And it seems like he's going to be doing solo Sokoa at some point next. And with the ending to Crown Jewel match, with like Jimmy getting involved and in it not being a clean finish, I think a lot of people expected that LA Knight would eventually have another match against Roman Reigns. But it seems like that is not actually the plan. Now, this is all coming from Meltzer in the Wrestling Observer newsletter. And it seems like Triple H may have a different direction that he wants to go. So, um, what that is, we don't know, <laughs> is the biggest part of this. Um, 
it seems like the the crown jewel match at least was like just a one-off um, and the plans for uh, Roman doesn't involve LA Knight, it, but it, we also don't know what the plans for Roman might be, whether that uh, Royal Rumble match is going to be leading into sort of the Mania build um, and get sort of set that off in motion on what LA Knight's going to be doing at that pay-per-view. We also have absolutely no idea. But LA Knight is still a top merch seller in the WWE and is obviously still a sort of focus point of WWE storytelling with the sort of bloodline stuff. They're keeping him sort of in the spotlight, if not at the very main event. Um, so he's still definitely in plans within WWE and there's still hopefully something really big to come but it's not going to be another Roman Reigns match at least not for now it seems yeah which is a bit of a shame because he got he got a hell of a reaction when he showed up on Smackdown last night people are people are so in still with LA Knight and it, mm -hmm. it, it just shows you like I think WWE will probably just I think they've been testing for months now just to see oh is he gonna is he gonna drop and it's just not happened people are so in on this character on this yep. guy and I hope he gets his chance again to be honest and you never know we just like in the next I feel like if, if it is gonna happen again it probably will be after Wrestlemania which is a bit of a, a downer at this point you never know it might even pop up at Elimination Chamber but again he's probably not going to lift the belt on the road to WrestleMania if that happened but I think he'll get his shot if he can I feel like we've been saying this for months but if he can sustain this momentum he's already sustained it he's here he's fine but if he keeps it even longer why not like just 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 give us what we want right we just, we just we're just wrestling fans we just we just want this stuff and speaking of giving us what we want my Hello. goodness we want some CM Punk tonight yeah. don't we Phil <laughs> we, we need some we need some CM Punk and uh, yeah and we're going to go right to the Wrestling Observer News there uh, again, because Meltzer's just got all the scoops, obviously, coming into this uh, this big old weekend. And, well, this one isn't so much a massive scoop. He's more just going, <laughs> okay, I'll just... scoop at all. This is Meltzer <laughs> edging his bets. Yeah, this is Meltzer <laughs> just, just backing up a little bit and going, ah, well, either the thing, never know, either way, I'm right either way. <laughs> it's fine. Meltzer said that there's no real sign, obviously, of CM Punk going to, like being planned to be at Survivor Series right now. And uh, people very close to the situation have completely denied that this is gonna happen. So they're saying it's not happening at all. But, <laughs> but Meltzer was also quick to add that this could all just be a well-kept secret heading into the big old War Games Funnily event. Enough, people who write TV show don't want to say what's happening on TV show. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> so that's what he thinks. And then on top of this, he said that he, he was told from the very beginning uh, that WWE weren't completely against the idea, like they knew there was a lot of negativity with Mr. Punker, but, but if the idea is it's something they have to do in regard to fan response, they they, 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 would, they would do it. You know what I mean? Like they, they, they just go, yeah, you know what? We've been bullied into this. We'll just <laughs> go do it. Um, and then just as another like little side bit on this, if you are really thinking, oh, you never know, it could just be a secret. Just fight for select came along and just poured even more war on it because we, we're not allowed to have nice things. And uh, they said that uh, top talents within WWE have been informed that Punk definitely isn't coming in after they asked. And these these top talents, uh, the kind of talents that you, you why would you like? to these talents because it just make a horrendous locker room like kind of environment so they're not the kind of people that you would just try and keep the secret to because if you did you would piss them off so that's yeah another just thing that's made this like the chances of this apparently shrink even more than they had done before this weekend and um just on top of this as well just as like another like side part of this i believe that it was said that the um the key members of the creative team were told that it's not happening and there's no creative plans again but i believe punk had actually spoken to one like somebody close to him and said that he'd been in contact with a wwe higher up recently but there was no context given for that conversation so not enough to really report on it and say that's a thing that's happened because it could have just been hey how's the dog you don't know <laughs> <laughs> it could have been anything you don't know what that is but speaking of rumors just before we go off this one there's also another thing that could potentially happen tonight as well because the, we, we weren't already kind of overwhelmed with CM Punk rumors. Bailey, the little minx, right, went onto Instagram and she, she posted onto her Instagram stories an image of herself, Asuka, Kyrie Sane, and former WWE superstar Mercedes Manet, Sasha Banks. Manet. With, and the caption was, <clears throat> I've always got a plan. What is she doing? Why would she do this? Oh Why would she do this on this weekend? Are we? I just and just like that, I'm watching Survivor Series. I was already going to watch it, but I am watching it. <clears throat> yeah, um, the punk stuff. Starting with that, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. is 
Like, well, I mean, it's ludicrous. It could still go either way. Like, the mm-hmm. rumors that are coming out from them aren't exactly rock solid. Is mm-hmm. people within a company that desperately likes keeping secrets have been told that a secret <laughs> is, that it isn't happening. Like, of course they haven't. Like, mm-hmm. why would they? Um, if, like, they've done this before and they'll do it again, they desperately want to keep these secrets. Um, but it's still there's a lot of hurdles to overcome for CM Punk to go back into WWE and whether they want to open that uh, like pipe bomb in the WWE locker room I don't know if they want to do that however I want them to I want them to in terms of my enjoyment of wrestling I desperately want them to because that is fascinating uh, Punk in WWE now like what is it like 13 years or whatever it is since he last appeared in WWE Um, and yeah, I mean, it's absolutely fascinating. I, I would desperately want this to happen. I think it's 10 years. Is it 10 years at the Royal Rumble? Well, it's, it's, it was 2014, though. 2014, so no, yeah. Not, yeah. At, at the Royal Rumble is, is like 10 years. Yeah. So it would be a hell of a time to come back. Um, yeah, but you, I, I don't know. I desperately want it to happen. Will it happen? Who the hell knows? Obviously, they've been really careful about the Randy Orton return, and they've <laughs> heavily signaled who that was going to be probably quite specifically to get away from the CM Punk rumors but yeah. then you've got the Shinsuke Nakamura stuff that's still going on yeah. and um, what was uh, on Living Colors uh, Spotify they put up a remixed version of Cult of Personality the other day which either way is hilarious business <laughs> huge fan of that um, so yeah it's I our know, fault I desperately it's, want it it's, to happen it's our fault as fans we just get carried away don't we like any exactly. little nugget we we're like oh that, there it is it's there and we, that, that's part yeah. of the experience that's the fan experience in 2023 just get carried away with things it is and i desperately want to see it because it's fascinating and i love the mm-hmm. chaos huge fan. Yeah. but the bailey thing as well like come on bailey loves doing these teasers as well like she's done them a lot in the past mm-hmm. and quite often to like nothing coming from it and then she'll put no. up another thing the next day that just explains it going i <laughs> told you or whatever mm-hmm. um uh, she, so she does this all the time. So I wouldn't put my hopes up on Sasha Banks returning. But again, if we got CM Punk and Sasha Banks in the same night, oh my god, that would be absolutely incredible. Yeah. Please make it happen, WWE. It's a different place now. Now that Trips is in charge and the weird rapey one has kind of gone a bit. Yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> but finally. Uh, on the wrestling news what have I got Uh, Survivor Series speaking of Survivor Series um, we've got a big change to a match on Survivor Series so Carlito came out last night on Smackdown uh, cutting a promo saying about how cool it was going to be to be on a premium live event uh, for the first time in 13 years that's where I got the 13 years from Um, and basically saying well he talks about the injured Rey Mysterio that um, Santos Escobar kind of took out last week and obviously Santos Escobar came out as well and it all ended up in a big ball on Smackdown but during it Santos kind of jumped off Barry Barricade and took him out and seemingly injuring Carlito and then after the break we saw Carlito sort of hobbling backstage kind of limping and holding his uh, shoulder and then Santos attacked him again leading to Dragon Lee coming in to save him and then later on in the show Nick Aldis was saying that Carlito was injured in those brawls and that the match would have to be postponed and then Dragon Lee came in saying no don't do that put me in the match instead and now that is set it is going to be Dragon Lee versus Santos Escobar at the Survivor Series pay-per-view and holy balls, that's a really good match. I am quite excited for this. Um, yeah. The Carlito thing, I think it's a shame that Carlito doesn't get his first uh, um, like premium live event match in 13 years, because that just would have been nice. But in terms of like match quality, you're not going to beat Santos versus Dragon Lee, I don't think. Yeah, I think I'm more excited about this actual in-ring encounter than the Carlito one, even though it's cool seeing Carlito there. He's had plenty of bloody pay-per-view events over the years. He'll, get, he'll, he'll have his chance, it's coming, but for this, Dragon Lee, it's massive. It's a massive, like, just just show of faith, I guess. They're like, yeah, okay, we'll put you in this, this nice spot, a nice single spot on a huge card, really, looking on it. So I'm excited. These two are going to go out there and try and steal the damn show, and I'm so here for it. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Can't add any more to that. Mm -hmm. Uh, But that is it. Thank you very much for joining us. You can click this video down below to continue your Twitter, your Twitter journey, your YouTube journey. But speaking of Twitter, you can go follow us on there or X or whatever the hell you want to call it. I fill my chambers. Gareth is at gmorgan04. Yeah, he is. And most importantly, have yourselves a bloody good day. Bye bye.